Hi there. Um, my name is Shane. Um, this is kind of like a channel intro type deal um, to my uh, YouTube channel here. Um, my name is Shane. Um, I am just a guy who lives in New York. Um, I've been wanting to do like some sort of like YouTube channel deal um, for a while. I mean, honestly, I think a lot of people want to do it. And I kind of think it's not going to turn out okay. Um, I think a lot of people want to uh, kind of do this kind of stuff, but you know, it's, it's, it's something I've been thinking about for a while to do like this whole YouTube movie TV reaction thing. Um, the reason I'm doing it. Um, so I'm not really looking for this to be like a monetary thing. Like it'd be awesome. Like if, if that happens, that'd be cool. But honestly, I'm kind of a hermit, <laughs> not like a loser or anything. Like I have friends, like it's not like I don't have friends and stuff, but I, I, I like to stay home. I don't like going out that much. I'm very introverted. I do like going out and doing stuff, but not that often. Um, I've always considered myself like a cinephile. Like I've loved movies all forever. Um, I always have something playing in the background. Usually, um, I've seen like <laughs> a bunch of movie, like dozens to probably hundreds of times, um, like Lord of the Rings trilogies and whatnot. Um, so I'm not like your typical, like reactor on this site. Like I've seen stuff. Like, I have, like, a giant bookcase here full of movies. Like, I've seen, like, you know, a lot of these shows. Well, not, I shouldn't say shows. I've seen a lot of, like, movies that other people haven't seen. Like, I've seen all the Marvel stuff. I've seen all of the Star Wars stuff. Like, I've seen all this stuff. Um, So, like, it's not, like, a lot of this stuff isn't going to be, like, oh, it's, you know, first time reacting. Ah, like, watch me first time react to all this stuff. There will be that. Like, I will try to do a bunch of that stuff. But it's not going to be, like, the super, super mainstream stuff all the time. Um, like, you know, like some movies that I haven't seen that I know are good that I just haven't gotten around to. Like, I haven't seen The Godfather. Um, let me actually, there we go. It's my pocket. Let me go to my, uh, what is that app called? Letterboxd. So, like, I got a whole, like, letterbox like, of movies and stuff. I mean, I'm not, like, a person who posts on it, like, when I've seen stuff. But, like, I do, like, if you can see, like, I post, like, stuff I need to watch. You know, like, I have, uh... Puss in Boots, those two Puss in Boots movies, a lot of, like, the Studio Ghibli. I haven't seen, like, anything Disney. Like, you know, any of, like, the Princess movies, Little Mermaid, Hercules. Like, I've seen, like, Lion King. Like, I've seen some of them. But majority of Disney movies, I haven't seen them. <laughs> I haven't seen any of them. Um, I know some of the context stuff. Like, it's hard to not know stuff. Like, I know the, the fork thing with Little Mermaid. She uses it, like, as, like, a brush or, like, as, like, a, a pick almost, I guess. Um... But, you know, I know stuff like that. Um, but, like, I haven't seen the movies. Like, I haven't seen Moana. I haven't seen... I've seen Frozen because my niece likes it. I haven't seen the sequel to Frozen. Um, a lot of these, like, kids movies... Like, not really necessarily kids movies, but a lot of these Disney movies, I haven't seen. Um, so that's a good place for, like... That's more where I'm one of those. Like, I haven't seen it first time. Come watch this thing that everybody's seen that I haven't. That's more me. Um, but a lot of stuff I have seen. Um, but I, I, I am the type that, like... For me, movies, there are bad movies, right? But not all movies are like have to be the greatest movie ever. You can watch like a bad movie and still enjoy yourself. As long as you have a good time, it was a good movie. Every movie doesn't need to be some groundbreaking story that makes you rethink and reimagine how movies work and whatnot. My cats are fighting right now, so I'm like keeping an eye. That's why I keep looking to the side to make sure it doesn't get too bad. Don't... Now uh, they're coming over here and they're going to knock over my fucking camera. <laughs> I'm not, like, cutting any of this either. I'm keeping the whole thing kind of, like, as an intro. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the main thing for me, though, is um, I've seen a lot of movies. Um, and I will watch, like, a shit ton of movies. Like, any movie. Like, I, I, I haven't seen a lot of romance. I don't like horror movies at all. Like, I hate being scared. So, like, I haven't seen, like, any of the Halloweens, any of, like, the Friday the 13th. So that's something that, like, and I hate being scared. <laughs> I hate it. Um, so that's something that could be fun. Um, and I'll kind of leave that open. Like, I'm not going to do any of that stuff just yet, just in case, like, if this does get traction, I want people to, like, I'd love to do polls and stuff and, like, have people say, like, what do you want to, like, to do next? Uh, but, yeah, a lot of these things, like, a lot of scary stuff I haven't seen. Like, romance, I haven't watched a lot of romance. Um, like, sci-fi, fantasy, seen a lot of that stuff. Um, but another thing where I... <laughs> Sorry, my cats are, they just started swap at each other. Um, like, right where the camera is, too. Um, so, uh, like, my main thing is TV shows. I haven't seen a lot of TV. Um, I'm currently, um, like, as I'm recording this right now, I've already watched, like, the first four episodes of The Walking Dead. 
Um, I haven't seen The Walking Dead. I know some story stuff that happens, but I haven't seen it. Um, so I'm kind of starting off with that because I know that's popular. Um, like, I haven't seen Supernatural. That's another thing on my list. Like, that's one of the things, like, I think is one of the first, like, reaction things I'm going to do is uh, Supernatural because I haven't watched it. And I know it's really good. I know people really like it. I've watched The Boys, so I know Jensen Eccles and whatnot, and I know Jeffrey D. Morgan from both... Uh, he plays Negan, I think, in The Walking Dead, and he's uh, going to be Monkey in Season 4 of uh, The Boys. I like The Boys. I, I like comics and stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, and then another thing that I'm kind of, like, getting into, I've seen some, but not a lot, um, is anime. Um, I've seen, like, uh, some of the more classic stuff, like, when I was younger. Like, I'm 29. Um, so, like, I'm a millennial. Uh, I've seen, like, Dragon Ball Z, Recipes of Kira Toriyama, uh, just, like, last weekend. Um, like, One Punch Man. Like, I love One Punch Man. Um, but, yeah, I've seen, like, a lot of, like, more classic stuff. I've watched Full Metal Alchemist, um, Dragon Ball, One Punch Man. Um, I've seen a good amount of One Piece, probably, like, five to 700 episodes, but I forgot where I left off. <laughs> and I don't remember because I've seen clips, so I'm not sure exactly where I left off. Um... Yeah, anime I haven't seen a lot of. Like, I love Berserk. Like, I have, uh, if you can see, I got the brand tattoo on my arm. Um, Berserk was, like, one of the first, like, true animes I watched. But, uh, uh, yeah, Akira. I've seen Akira. Like, uh, uh, their animes aren't, like, I haven't seen any Naruto. I haven't seen any Bleach. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, the fucking Inuasha guy, the red with the white hair. I haven't seen any. And I'd be willing to watch all of it. I'm, I, I am the type of person I'm willing to watch any. The first, that, that was a little weird and sensual, sorry. Sorry if that was weird. Um, <laughs> uh, I do plan on, like, the first movie I plan on watching because I do like bad movies. I'm um, give you some context about, like, the bad movie thing. I grew up watching, like, uh, Godzilla movies. Like, when I was a kid, like, I was, I was a dinosaur kid. I loved dinosaurs and animals. And my dad, one day, when I was, like, maybe, like, six, five, six, he found every single VHS tape of the Japanese, like, in Japanese... Godzilla movies of like the Showa. I forget if it was the Showa or the Hasai era. It was like one full era, whichever one. It was like, I don't know, it was maybe like 20 VHSs he had. Um, but uh, it was like most of one and then a little bit of the other era. Uh, but he had like a bunch of VHSs. Um, and he didn't know what Godzilla was. <laughs> he just saw like a big dinosaur. And he's like, oh, Shane will love that because he loves dinosaurs. So he bought me the whole thing at a garage sale when I was like six or five or six. And I loved them. And, but they're so bad like a lot of them are so bad like bad acted but it's still enjoyable that's why like i say like i can enjoy bad movies like just because it's bad doesn't mean it's not enjoyable something could be bad but still enjoyable like one thing i would like to do with this is like every like day of the week one of the days of the week you know have like bad movie thursday or something and like watch like a terrible movie <laughs> like a movie that is supposed to be bad and still enjoy it you know ourselves um like my first one i'm actually doing i'm actually going to record it tonight is uh morbius i've never seen morbius and i <laughs> i want to see the train wreck i haven't seen it yet so that's like gonna be the first movie on the channel is morbius the terrible bad to give kind of an idea of what this channel is going to be but yeah um you know i would love to like if this channel got to the point like i'd do giveaways and shit like i would do naruto i'd watch naruto I tried watching, like, not the Shippuden. Like, there's one that's more for, like... There's one that's for younger people and one that's for, like, a little bit more mature. And I've heard you can kind of skip over the original Naruto series. And I tr I, I, I would watch the original, though. But I heard you can skip over it. And I tried watching the original and I couldn't. Eh, it was kind of, eh. I couldn't get into it. Um, But, like, that's something I'd watch. And, like, that's something, like, on the channel, if, like, the channel got to a point... I would, like, do a giveaway. Like, when we finish the series, I would, like, go out and buy, like... Like, I'd be the type person to go out and either buy, like, the, like, set, like, manga or, like, the set of something and give it away to someone. Like, that's what I would love to do. Like, stuff like that. Like, when we finish a series, like, gift it out to someone or something, you know? Like, do something special like that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, this is just kind of an intro to the uh, channel and whatnot. Just kind of give you an idea of what's going on here. I'm gonna... Probably the first handful of videos... Hit the mic. Uh, the first handful of videos, I'm probably going to put this at the beginning. And I'll put like a thing so, so you could skip it if you want to, if anybody even watches this crap. But uh, you never know. Um, but I'm going to do that and uh, go from there. Uh, right after this, I'm going to record like what I know about The Walking Dead. Because I know stuff about The Walking Dead, so I want to do like a little... Like, this is what I know about The Walking Dead. Uh, because I do know some stuff, so I'm doing that right after this. But yeah, 
Um, this is just kind of a channel intro saying, hey, I'm Shane. Um, I'm not the type of person that's going to like demand like likes on every video and be like, oh, let's play the YouTube game, do the ad algorithm. Like, I may every once in a while do that, but like, I don't really care that much. Like, if the channel got monetized, I'd maybe stop, start caring about like cursing. But right now, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. Um, hi there. Um, this is, uh, part of, like, my intros that I'm doing right now. Um, I had to redo this one, so this one's a little more concise now. <laughs> um, so, this one's about, uh, like, my knowledge of, like, The Walking Dead so far and what I've already, already know going into the series. I'm recording this, um, after I've already edited the first one and I've already, uh, watched, like, the first four episodes. Um, so, my knowledge of The Walking Dead before even going into anything, I know some characters who die, I know some of the baddies, but I don't know a lot of, like, the plot points. Um, <clears throat> I know that, uh, uh, like, a lot of characters die. So, and th by the way, um, I'm putting this now. Spoilers. Uh, from here, I'm gonna put down a little thing, like, the little thing so you can see where the, like, uh, chapters are. Uh, so you can skip this part if, like, you're fresh <laughs> with The Walking Dead like I am, kind of. Uh, but some spoilers, um, so you are warned, so it's your fault now. Um, at The Walking Dead, I know, like, some characters die, like, I know Shane dies, I know, um, Carl dies, I know Gwen's the one that gets killed by Negan later on, um, I know, like, some of the baddies, like, I know Negan's one of the baddies in one of the arcs, I know, um, the governor is one of the baddies in another arc, and he has, like, an eye patch, and he has, like, a tank while they're in the prison or some shit, I don't know, I don't know the reason, I just know that they're the baddies, and, um, I know there's, like, other characters, like Michonne, that shows up, and she has, like, those two zombies on, like, the chains with their, like, jaw cut and, uh, their arms cut off or some shit, and she has, like, a katana, and she's, like, a love interest for, like, Daryl or some shit. I know, like, uh, Shane and, uh, Lori kind of got together after, um, you know, they thought, <laughs> uh, what's his name was dead, uh, Rick was dead, uh, but I do know some stuff. I do know some characters that die. I do know some things. So I just wanted to preface that a little bit so you know, like, I'm not going into this completely blind. It is my first time actually watching the series. And there are just a couple things that maybe won't be as shocking to me because I already know them. And I talk about it. I'll bring it up, like, throughout the video and stuff. Like, when, when the scenes come up eventually. Like, in the first episode, I forgot that, uh, the Fear of the Walking Dead guy. I don't even know his name. <laughs> um, I know he's in this. Um, I forgot. I, I don't even remember that. I've watched the first episode before, but I don't remember really anything from it. Um, I actually own like two of the seasons. I own like season six and season seven. Don't know why. I think they were my exes and they just stayed here when she left. <laughs> um, so I have like two seasons of like later seasons, but, uh, just some context, uh, for you before the video starts. Um, like I said, you could skip this if you don't want to, but just some info so you know that I'm not going to this completely blind. And I'm probably going to upload this in the first, like, four videos I upload for The Walking Dead, just so that way it's there. Um, and if, like, after that, it shouldn't be necessary. But the first four, and you can skip it, like, you know, if you want to. Uh, actually, maybe not even the first four. I'll probably do, only do, like, the first two, maybe. We'll see. Um, that's all I got. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. So we're going to be getting, um, this is one episode one of The Walking Dead. Um, first time watching The Walking Dead, really. I know some spoiler stuff that I would have went over at the beginning. Um, I would have done like a little, probably two um, clips before this, saying like what I'm doing and what I'm. Uh, make sure my audio is recording, and what I'm, uh, you know, with Walking Dead and in regards to uh, uh, this, uh, what I'm doing here on YouTube. Um, so there's that. This is season one, episode one. Um, I. No, for season one, like, I don't really got much to say, like, I know, um, like, some things that I already went over, like, I know, um, some characters who die, like, I know, um, there's only six episodes in season one, um, I know characters, like, I know the whole, like, Negan thing, like, I know that whole thing, like, I know just some stuff that happens throughout the, um, series, um, I don't know the overall, like, story or anything. Like, I don't know, like, why, like, what. Like, I don't know any of that stuff. Um, the overall story, I don't know it. Um, all I really know is a couple of characters who die. Um, I know it's different than the comic books. Um, I'm a fan of Kirkman. Um, I really like the Invincible series. Um, I've read that uh, back to front multiple times. Um, I enjoy the show, too. I have even, like, figures, like, that have come out uh, recently for them over there. So, um, I'm a fan of Kirkman. I like Kirkman stuff. Um, I like the, like, more uh like 
you know, bloody, like dark, like that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to probably record, oh my God, like they're an hour and 45 minutes each. I thought they were like 20, 30 minutes each. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Um, so, um, I'm going to watch probably like two episodes sitting here. I think I've seen like the first handful of episodes. Um, I don't know like any of the characters really. Like I know people love Daryl Dixon. Um, I know people say like Rick motherfucking grind and shit. Um, so yeah, might as well, I guess, just start. So I'm going to click this. Okay, let me go back to the beginning. And I'm going to be clicking play here. Be taking, clicking play here in three, two, one, click. And I know, yeah, EMC. I know the one gripe I had about The Walking Dead was the fucking, uh, there is some bad CGI <laughs> here and there. So we'll see how it, how, how it is. I know there's like a deer scene that I was really like, I know he's cop, like sheriff or cop or something. And I know he starts off in like the hospital or something. Or is that 28 days later? I'm just, I know he's like out of it. All right, so he's a sheriff. I forget, is this before or after it all happened? Looks like. Yeah, yeah, this is young. This is very young. I know what he looks like, so. Question is this before or after it happened? I know there's a thing with like a little girl. Like at the beginning, like there's a, a weird little girl scene. Is this that little girl? That's all I know. Yeah. Or oh wait, this is probably maybe an old lady. Oh no, it's probably little, it's probably that little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so like that's what I know. That's what I know. <laughs> like there's like some little fucking girl at the beginning. And it's like, is she a zombie? Is she not? What is she? Da da da. Like I know that little girl. And I know some of the memes and stuff like coral. Like, I know that. Like I said, I should have put, like, a thing before all this of, like, all the spoilery kind of stuff that I know. So it's not like, oh, I know this stuff. Yeah. See, I remember this part. And I remember him in the hospital. That's pretty good makeup and stuff, too, though. Very good. As a big guy, like zombies aren't that scary, like especially like walking ones. Like she's like kind of like speed walking. Nice. Even that, like I guess this is season one, but like that was kind of oh, you can tell it's kind of CGI. But like it's you know it was a TV show. Like it wasn't like TV shows nowadays where like they're putting millions of dollars, like crazy amounts of money into them. I don't watch the intro. I don't really give a shit. But yeah, um, I know a lot of stuff. Like John Barenthal, Barenthal, he's in a lot of shit. I know, he's the same name, Shane. So, you know when this was first coming out, people are asking me about that shit. Um, I know Stephen Ewan. Um, watch Invincible, so I know Ewan. Oh, they're like brothers, I think, right? So you're getting like that uh, him and Lori have some issues, him and his wife. And I know like, doesn't like after they think he's dead or something, like Shane gets with her or some shit like that. I know some stuff like that. Like those are the things I know. I know little bits like that that aren't super, super big for the plot, at least that I don't know. And I assume, I assume this is probably where he gets into the accident and where he's hospitalized. Okay, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> okay. They're just setting this... Like, again, like, you're not going to have them sit there... Well, I guess they're firing at him, too, right? They said that an officer's already wounded. So, okay. That makes a little more sense, actually, now that I think about it. Just says me miss it. I'm trying to see, like, if it's set on, like, the license plate where they're at. None of these cops can hit shit. Why did he walk up to... Like, why didn't they think, like, that's kind of a plot thing. Like, I'm like, why, 
Why didn't they go like, yo, fucking get out? Okay, it's in Georgia. Or well, they're from Georgia. Oh, there's a third guy. There's a third guy. Yeah, they, they didn't even check the fucking car. They start getting all casual and talking about it. That's your fault. <laughs> That's your fault. That's your guys' fault. <laughs> like, they didn't, like, go, like, to secure anything and then react, you know? Like, no one got Rick out of there as soon as he was hit. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Just standing out casually after a gun, like, a nanosecond after a gunfight. I mean, not a chance those guys were down on the ground, not dead. Assumed you killed them both with those shots? I mean, they're pretty bad shots, I mean, right? I don't know. Hopefully the shooting gets better if, uh, you know, even the batteries died in the clock. That would take forever for that to happen. He would be extremely emancipated. Or emaciated. Not emancipated. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he would be completely... Oh, man. Yeah, he would be completely emancipated. No, whatever it is, or like, you're weak and frail. Emaciated. Right? I think that's what that means, right? Yeah, and that, and that too. Like, I'd be like, fuck no. Like, his, his reaction was a little too fucking... Like, I would be like, fuck that. I'd be like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. He's way too calm after seeing some shit like that. My ass would be fucking gone. Don't dead. Open inside. Isn't that coming up here? The meme door? Yeah. Don't dead. Open inside. But I feel like even them, they would be, you know, I know, like, you know, eating stuff sustains them, but, like, you think they would be, like, cannibalize on themselves at some point, like, if they can't find food. You know? But... Different variations of zombies and how they, you know, deal with it all and whatnot. And I always wonder in, like, these, like, movies or shows and stuff, like, um, do they have the pre, like, do they have, like, zombie movies? Like, do they know what they are? I always wonder, like, what degree of knowledge they have on zombies and stuff. Like, are zombies a known thing? Or is this, like, new? Like, oh, it's, we've never had this, we never experienced this before. You know? I was wondering that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, this zombie's like alive and crawls at him. I remember that too. I think like that this guy was like a figure or something. I know him. He's in like the one of the sequel, like other series. I know that. Yeah, I know he's in like Fear of the Walking Dead or some shit. I forget his name. Yeah, and they call them walkers. They're not zombies. They walk us. Is that mine? Should have put her down. Yep. Yep. I wouldn't. Not all of us. <laughs> Have the dad, the kid go. Rick waits outside with the gun. <laughs> and then they do the same. They cover for Rick. Because I don't know if we see him in like I don't know if he's in Fear the Walking Dead. I know he I know the dad is. I don't know if Dwayne is. I wonder if Dwayne dies. I could I could see that. I could see them doing that. I bet she does. I put money on it because I don't think he's in Fear. Back to his house. She's gone. Who 
Who's he going to put her out of her misery? You know? I wonder if he thought that was Laurie or some shit. You know? I wonder if he's checking. Oh, he's going to kill her. Okay. He knows. Yeah, Rick wants to make sure that's not Lori, but we don't know what Lori. She don't look as bad as the other ones. She's not that bad of a looking zombie, you know. Like she doesn't look as zombie. Like she looks pretty normal. I think that's why it's a little maybe harder to kill her because like if her face was all fucked up, you could do it a little easier. I, I've seen this scene before too, where like she's staring like straight at him. Put her out of her misery, man. Just pull it. Doesn't matter after you pull it. You could ask Rick to kill her, too, honestly. If you really couldn't, you could have been like, yo, Rick, can you take care of something for me? Oh, there's Lori and there's Carl. I know, like, isn't, like, a thing, like, Lori's a piece of shit, too? I've heard that. Like, Lori's kind of a piece of shit. Like, nobody likes Lori. I think. And I know they're kind of, like, together. Right? Yeah. Yep. After Rick, uh, they think Rick's gone. I wonder how long it's been. Like, it had to be long enough that they would get together. But, like, I think Shane's kind of an ass. I think Shane's kind of an ass. If I'm not mistaken. Like, you know, like, even right there, like, you'd see, like, where, like, a truck or, like, they've already done takes, you can kind of see. I don't know if that's real or not, but it looks like, it looked like it, didn't it? But it's, you know, this was TV TV, low budget, you know, so I don't hold it against them. I don't hold stuff like that, but you notice stuff like that when you watch movies and shows. You're like, oh, it looks like right thing, you know. Stuff like that's noticeable. Eventually, like, fuck it, get, go opposite traffic. No one's over there. What are they going to do? Stop you? <laughs> you know? I thought he got to the family a lot quicker. I thought him and, like, um, Lori and all them got together a lot quicker. Like, I remember this stuff. Like, I remember seeing this stuff, but I think it was just when it was airing. Like, this was a lot of, like, the promo stuff, him on the horse. I wonder where they filmed this at to get rid of all the cars. You know? Like tanks just chilling. Mm, you know what? Now that I remember, doesn't he like hide in a tank? Or am I thinking of something else? Doesn't he have to hide in a tank or like an APC it or some something at some point? I might be thinking of something else though, another zombie. Uh, like, you know, thing. I could have sworn, like, someone has to hide into a tank when there's a bunch of zombies around them, though. Yeah. 
Yeah. You need that poor team. So what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be? Oh, jeez, Jesus. I mean, a whole city of, like, thousands of people, right? How'd they get on him so quick? Like, that's what I understand. How'd they get on him so fucking quick? How are they not scratching him? Of course he's dead. Remember that proposal you made with the horse? You got the horse killed. <laughs> yeah, so this is the one where he gets into the fucking tank. Yeah, okay. I remember that. Like, he gets into the tank. Like, there's, like, a, the underneath hatch that he can crawl into or some shit. Oh, and then he sees the fucking hatch. Look above you. Rah. You know it's coming. It's the reason they use a real actor there. Instead of... Someone else. Rawr. I need that was dumb, yeah. <laughs> and the let the hatch is open too. So like the lid is literally open. They're right now climbing to get on top and into that bitch. Yeah, that would have been loud as fuck. And I realize, oh shit, the lid's open. The hatch is open. You gotta close that hatch, dog. I don't think that tank's that big inside. Again, 1911. Or whatever it is. If that's the same thing or not, I don't know. Is that Daryl? Is that the end of episode one? He's got that fucking horse killed. <laughs> that horse was just having a good old time eating grass and shit, and now it fucking is dead. <laughs> I'd assume, you know what would probably be really effective, like, with this kind of shit? Fireworks. You know? If you had, like, M80s, you could strategically, like, move the zombies around using, like, fireworks. You know? Because they're loud, and they'll attract them. So, like, you put them on one end of the city, blow off a bunch of fireworks, like, have it go off, like, over the course of, like, an hour. Like, a bunch of them. And then... <laughs> I feel like you can outsmart them too. I feel like the thing is, is you, you can outsmart them. You know, you can outsmart the zombies. That's the big thing. You can outsmart them. Not like necessarily like overpower them or anything like that, but you can outsmart the motherfuckers. <sighs> okay, then. So that's episode one. Um, it was pretty good. Um, there were a couple things that I was like kind of eh about, but it's a pilot, you know, this is the pilot. So you gotta kind of take that into consideration when you're watching stuff, but, um, and I know there are some things that I do have, like, uh, you know, with, <laughs> with the whole, uh, you know, kind of some of the acting and stuff. Like, I get it. Like, and these actors, like, they haven't really made their names yet, you know, they became a lot more, you know, a lot more notoriety behind them. After, you know, a couple seasons of this and whatnot. They weren't, you know, who they were at the beginning. Um, so, yeah, that was Days Gone By, episode one. Um, pretty good. Um, I've seen bits of it. Like, I knew the, um, I knew he went into a tank. I knew he was hospitalized. Um, I knew Shane was still alive and Lori and all them. And I knew Shane got together with her. Um, that's the stuff I know. Um, looking forward to the next episode. Not really much. Like, this is still kind of like some groundwork. Like, there's... Not much. Like, I'm excited to see, like, how the zombies... Fucking fat-ass cat. 
uh, how the zombies, you know, play out and shit. Um, like, you know, what type of zombies there are, if there's different kinds. I know there are, like, special walkers and stuff in this. I guess I should probably should call them walkers, because that's what they're called in the show. But, um, yeah. It's pretty good. 11 season shit. So, like, what? Let's see here. So, six episodes, season one, 13, 16, 16, 16. Okay, and then it's, like, 16. And then 22, then 24. Holy shit. Um, Okay. Well, so um, I'm going to, you know, take a little break here. I got to move some laundry in and then I'm going to start on the next episode. So I'm not really going to say too, too much um, on this. Just kind of, a, you know, first get started. I'm doing like four episodes here in the first kind of sitting. So like, I, honestly, after the fourth episode, I'll probably have more thoughts, af- you know, after each of these episodes. Um, I knew some of the stuff that happened this one. That's why I think I don't have that much thoughts afterwards. It's just kind of like, yeah, that was good set up the world a little bit, you know, set up, like, kind of what we got going on. Um, I still, like, have no idea what the overall thing besides, uh, zombie apocalypse survival, you know, I don't know what really the goals are of, like, the series or anything, um, yet. I don't know if this, oh, excuse me. I don't know if this is more, like, just survive or if it's more, like, find a cure or, or what it is. Um, like, I haven't seen The Last of Us, but I know The Last of Us is more so, like, um, there's like a cure and I think like, um, Bella Ramsey, if that's her name, the actress's character, um, the actress character, um, who she plays, I forget what the character's name is. Um, she's like, a, has like blood that can synthesize a cure or some shit, or she's immune or they're immune or whatever it is. Um, so I know that one goes kind of on that route. It's like, oh, do you want to be like you know, kind of a lab rat, where, like, we use you as a cure, you're like, you know, well, what are we doing, kind of deal. Um, this one, I think, is just more just survival. Like, with people taking advantage of, like, the shitty <laughs> situation of the world. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Um, I have a cat over here wanting attention from me, so. Um, I guess that'll be it for episode one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, if you did watch it. If you didn't, that's fine. <laughs> um, And yeah, more will be coming out. All right, have a good one. Peace.